So this video is going to be about disturbances. So a disturbance is going to be a natural or human caused event that is going to cause a change in a biological community and usually results in the removal of organisms from that community. So some examples of disturbances could be fires, storms, floods. So in this image right here, we can see that there was some sort of fire that resulted in a lot of uh, removal and change to this biological community. And so disturbances are going to vary in their frequency and in their severity. So are disturbances actually important for the survival of a biological community? And so there's something called the intermediate disturbance hypothesis. And that hypothesis states that moderate levels of disturbance are going to actually lead to greater species diversity than lower or higher levels of disturbance. So in this graph over here, we can see that at the lower ends of uh, disturbance intensity, we're going to have less um, species diversity. Then in the middle range of disturbance intensity, we see our greatest species diversity. And then in our higher range of disturbance intensity, again, we're going to see this drop in species diversity. And so this sort of uh, relationship between intensity and the number of species found in that environment is what has led scientists to believe that intermediate levels of disturbance are actually really good for uh, community health. And so the reason that they're so good is that intermediate disturbances are rarely going to lead to conditions that are so extreme and so severe that they exceed the environment's tolerance or their ability to recover from such a disturbance. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30 minute one on one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.